What's up you guys? Avery here bringing you guys a completely unscripted video talking to you today about everyone moaning about the ban list and uh, card prices going up such as ritual cards and manjus and all that fun stuff. So I saw a video from Robbie uh, a couple hours ago as I was playing on my new Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Sorry about not having an unboxing, by the way, but I will have a review up either later tonight or tomorrow. Um, but I was watching a video from Robbie about how a lot of people are buying out ritual stuff and how um, everybody's pretty much preparing for link format by basically buying up Necros and all that stuff and just buying up a bunch of rituals in general along with Manjus and Senjus and all that fun stuff and goat format stuff continue to go up. But people have also been moaning about the ban list. Capital G made a video about it. Doug Zeef, Glasgow, all these people made a video about it. And um, I know in Jonathan Moore's video, he talked about how um, right now isn't really a good time for a ban list and that really the game hasn't really needed one because of the fact that we've seen um, basically evolution in the game without having a ban list. You know, you look at when Blue Eyes came out, we had Blue Eyes, that was the top deck. Then ABC became the top deck, and then we had Metal Foes, that became the top deck, and it's just sort of evolved until now we've hit Zoo. I agree with Doug and Jonathan Moore. At the same time, I don't. Because here's the whole thing, right? Take take the game itself out of the picture, and let's just look at the ban list for what it is. They took away the end date, which people hate. I'm one of those people. And... To me, overall, it just, it screws the game over in general. You know, when we had a set date, we could at least have a list at some point. You know, we could sell off our deck when we knew that we needed to sell it off and reinvest. Um, ever since that they took away that date, we kind of don't really know what to invest in or what product to buy, and it just really sucks. And at this point, which I do agree with Jonathan and Doug on this, is that we're either going to have a list late March or early April. And even then, that's kind of pushing national season, like Cap said. So they might just wait until league format, quite honestly. And, you know, if they don't do it after Atlanta, which I doubt that they will, they're not going to probably do it in April, which I hope not because, you know, like I said, I've spent over $600 on Zoo. So, and I have a regional April 1st, and I'm going to sell Zoo at that regional. So. You know, it is what it is, because by that point, I'll just have to sit on my hands and wait for Link Summoning to come out. And then once that happens, we'll probably have a ban list. Because, again, you know, like Randall said, we can't really have one right now because we'll be going into Nationals and Worlds and all that. And we just, it's the most inconvenient time for a ban list. And I think Konami has kind of put themselves into a corner because of this. You know, they could have at least released some sort of list to at least kind of tweak a few things before Zoo came out. You know, I, honestly, I would have been happy if they would have put a list out right when Zoo came out. Like, at the sneak peek of Raging Tempest, if they put a list out, that would have been perfect. They could have hit all the previous top decks a little bit. They could have hurt Zoo a little bit just by, you know, let's say hitting Invoker and Terra Top, which also in turn hurts other decks that use those cards. So you're kind of hitting multiple decks in a way. However, at the same time, that would probably still piss people off because then they wouldn't be able to play Zoo at full power. And Konami wants to make that money. And now, at this point, they don't even know when they're going to have a ban list, which is just flat-out ridiculous, which is why I'm saying that they're just going to bring it out in, you know, Link Summoning format in six months. And by God, Konami, if you want to give us a once-a-year ban list, that's really trash. <laughs> because, basically, the whole point of having a ban list goes out the window. You know, yes, the game will eventually evolve itself over time and kind of fix itself over time. But if that's going to be the case, then what's the point of having a ban list at all? You might as well, like, release product and have your R&D play test and be like, okay, this beats the previous best deck. So we'll just release this product and have this deck in it. Therefore, the game uh, evolves. Uh Generically, I think is the correct term, like generic evolution. I don't know. I'm not a science major. <laughs> um, but I, I hope you guys see what I mean by going with this because, you know, by the time we get Link Summoning, that will be close to a year since we last had a list. And if they're going to wait that long or just be that inconsistent, 
then just stop making ban lists. Stop wasting your time because it's obvious that you don't care anyway. Look back at the March 2012 ban list that Capital G just did a video on. It was solely for profit. Windups and Insectors had just came out. They wanted Plant Synchro to die in a fire, and they wanted you to play those best decks or just not play the game at all. They did it strictly to push product. And by God, if they want to push Link Summoning, then they'll release a big ban list. They'll release a bunch of changes on that list if we do not get a list before then. And if we do get a list before then, I can guarantee them to you, they're going to put out a list right when Link Summoning comes out to hurt everything. And then they're going to also put in a bunch of new rulings for so many cards in the game. You know, whether it's Ground Collapse or John Matrio, Send It Switch, whatever. So, you know, I didn't really want this to be like a rant video, but I guess it kind of turned into one just because of the fact I didn't want to make a video talking about the balance because I've already said time and time again in my balance discussion videos from like previous lists. I always say, once again, they don't have an end date on the ban list. There's something already wrong with this list. I think it's absolutely stupid and ridiculous and asinine that they don't have an end date on their ban list. You know, it just goes to show that Konami's lazy, and it once again goes to show that, you know, they don't care about their game as much as, you know, we players do. You know, cause the same thing with Team Six Samurai. They send in an email, uh, like a whole paragraph long, and then, you know, we get one email back. I will admit, though, <laughs> I was one of the guys that called Konami. <laughs> and ask them where the ban list was. And the guy, he picks up the phone, and I'm like, yes, I had a question about Yu-Gi-Oh, and I just acted like I was a new player in the game. He goes, oh, yeah, yeah hold on one second. Comes back and says, yes, you're correct. There's no end date on the Yu-Gi-Oh ban list. And I go, oh, okay, do you guys know when you're going to be getting one? Um, and he goes, no, we don't, unfortunately. I said, oh, okay, thanks. And, you know, that, that was it. So... Konami just doesn't care. You know what they probably did? They probably put our balance into one of their pachinko machines in Japan. And then they're like, hoo hoo, Americans have to come over to Japan to get their ban list, hoo hoo hoo. You know, OCG actually takes care of their players. Konami of TCG just doesn't care. So, you guys, this ban list will come at one point or another. I'm honestly tired of waiting for it. I'm just pretending it doesn't even exist anymore because once April 1st rolls around and I have my regional, whether I top or not, I'm selling the deck because <laughs> I've invested a lot of money into it and I'm going to try and make at least over half my money back. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. When do you think that we'll be getting a ban list? Do you think it's going to happen right at link format? That's what I'm thinking of at this point. Um, other than that, you know, just going to show that Konami is a garbage company. So thank you guys for watching as always. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Hit that uh, notification bell. Hashtag notification squad. <laughs> Once again, such a stupid name, but the more people I have hitting that bell, the more you guys rock. So thank you guys for watching as always, and subscribe if you have not already.